Assalamu alaikum and welcome to our channel. I am Dr. Mahad Ismail. In the Gromex tutorial series, today we will talk about the analysis of results using DMD tool. This is the fourth lecture of our series. Previously, we have covered the installation steps, then the molecular dynamics steps and the analysis steps which are present on the Gromex website. Today topic cover the VMD tool for the analysis of results in which majorly we will cover the RSMD calculation and furthermore. First of all go to Google and type VMD. VMD is basically visual molecular dynamic tool which make things easy. When you click on this tool you will be directed to this website. From here on the left side click download VMD. On this page you will have this these type of installation as I am going to use the windows click on windows 64 bit. You will be directed to the login page. You need to add your academic credential if you are working you are a student or you are working in some university put your academic email id and give it a password and click on the continue button. Enter your detail and click with registration or download. You will be directed on this page, right click on it and give I am agree with the terms and condition of the license. Click on it, you will be directed on this page. In this page, if you can choose your direct version, like I am using the windows, the above versions are only for the Linux based. For windows based, this is the 1.9.4 right now. If there is an updated model, you can download it. Click on this and it will direct you towards the download. Start download. Download your uh, soft software is downloaded. Open the folder and start downloading it. This one. Click on the yes button. Next agree and its installation is beginning. Installation is completed. Click on the finish button and it will automatically start. When it start, it came with the three window. This one is the DOS based window. Minimize it. Don't close it. The second one is your display window. And the third one is your VMD main menu. This is our folder, GMX folder, which we generated after the MD simulation. First of all, go to VMD menu, click on the file open new molecule and a new window will be appeared. From this menu, click on the browse. From the browse, navigate to your uh, folder in which you have your GMX files or trajectories. Now this is the GMX folder. From this search dot grow file in which the latest file I have done the molecular dynamic simulation for 10 nanosecond and this is my grow file. Grow file basically provide the coordinates. Open it and load it. Once you load it you will see the some molecule over here and you will see some molecule over here. It says it has one frame. Right now we have only open the coordinates. Now we need to download all the coordinates. Need to load all the coordinates. Go to the browse again. While going to browse, please note that load file here. You must have the same file which you open for the dot .go file. Now go to the browse. After the browse, find out dot .xtc file. Navigate your same folder and here choose the md 0 10 xtc this is md that was the name i given it and the 10 is 10 nanosecond run and xtc is basically it the frame the other way you can check that it is the highest md in the size or if you have run the centered or fit you can also run it right now i am going to use this one you can see the information is Coded over here and click on the load. As you click on the load, it will start moving and the number of frames are going to upload. Depending on the number of frames, it will take few seconds. As I have 
about approximately 1000 frames so it is now uploaded you can see the all the frames are over here if you want to see you can run the play button over here these all frames are running you can change the speed over here it will load the frames one by one you can change the display you can go to the graphics and presentation here in the graphics and presentation you can see these are the lines names and all these are basically the line you can change these lines into cartoon or new cartoon i click on the new cartoon you can see it has changed the molecule as a cartoon you can apply the change okay or you can choose the coloring method you can select the color id and from here you can select the color of your own choice like you can select the red color or you can select the pink color and so on right now i give it to the red color and apply okay and close it secondly if you want to change the background color from here go to graphics and colors from here choose the category which you i am going to choose the category at display and the background from the background i am going to choose the white so you can see now the picture is clear you can move in move out or you can see that how is it's working now next step we are going to do is the rmsd analysis for this go to extension select analysis and from the analyx in the drop down menu we have rsmd trajectory tool open it when you open it you will find that the name is written as the protein first thing you want to do select this molecule and then press align it will align all your trajectories the second thing you are going to click it on the plot if you want to save these trajectories rmsd click on the save i will also cover it on the later second thing simply go click on the rmsd when you click on the rmsd it will generate you the graph this is the graph which is generated for the thousand frame the rmsd value is fluctuating between 7.5 to 27.5 next you can change these graph types edit edit plot you can change the name like this name rmsd name rmsd name the axis the ligand the name you can modify it and if you want to this information go to file and export and click as export to ASCI matrix I name it as a protein or MSD and OH dot that file DAT file and I am going to save it in the desktop for further viewing and save it now close it the second option is if you want to see the backbone and no h means no hydrogen if you want to see the traces you can see the traces or you can see the backbone and click on the rmsd you can see here the rmsd value is the different whatever you like you can view it okay now i close it now open a empty excel sheet we are going to study the dot file this is my dot file which i stored i open the excel sheet go to file and click open browse from the browse i am going to give it the path of my desktop and from here select all files after that you can see protein rmsd and which is saved which i saved open it you will be directed to some option over here delimited click next from the here from the tab switch is to the space then next and then click finish 
when you fin uh, click finish you will be generated a new file in which all the number of frames and their RMSD graphs are ported over here. From here you can select these files, go to insert and choose the scatter chart and you can plot a chart. It will give you a chart similar like that one which was present on this VMD tool. You can change the axis, you can change the y axis, you can change the other tools. If you are facing any difficulty to use the Excel, I have also prepared a tutorial for how to use Excel for graph preparation. I will give the link in the description section, you can watch it over here. In this way, you can save it, you can make the RMSD graph and label as per your display as such as you want. I save it, close it. This was about the protein. If I want to see the some information about the ligand, what should I need to do? First of all, go to graphics and then presentations. In the presentation, here is type all. All means everything is included. Here I am going to type res name. Res name is basically for the different uh, molecule present in the system. Go to selection. From the uh, keyword, we are going to search for the res name. Here the res name. Find out UNK. It will be found in the last. During the molecular dynamics simulation, I place the name ligand as UNK unknown. Uh, well, it is good to keep a unique name. Otherwise, it will interface with your normal name like SOL, phenylalanine, and so on. You can also place it LIG which is represent for ligand but you can use it. Select this UNK, it will present it in typed in here and then create a replicate. When you create a replicate, you will see the name is written over here. UNK, we are enlarged it, rest name UNK, the entry is created. Now go to draw style and the molecule is small, so the cartoon method is not useful to present. Instead, we are going, you can use the lines. If you choose the line, you can see the red molecule over here. Uh, well, I change the color. I change the color from blue, let's say. You can see the molecule, the blue molecule is here, over here. Well, I change it to, if I change it to yellow, no, yellow is not visible as much. Well, black, black is also working for it. But right now, I can choose the color blue to present the molecule. Here is our molecule. Or more, you can use the bonds. Here, you can see the bonds. It is more visible. This means this molecule is circulating among these. Apply the changes and close this window. Remember this name or just copy this name, res name UNK and close it. After closing it, go to extension, go to analysis and again go to the RMSD trajectory tools. Here type that name or paste that name you copy. Again you are going to make a line, so giving an error that is not properly aligned. Well you are going to choose the NOH no hydrogen and align it because it don't have a backbone. Initially I clicked on the backbone but backbone is for protein not for the ligand. No hydrogen I have clicking on non hydrogen and click on the assign then plot save and then click on the RMSD. Now this is the RSMD for your ligand molecule. You can see the RSMD val value is going to change between 0.5 into 1 which is not much which means our ligand is pretty much stable in that protein. If you want to take the screenshot of this, you can simply use the screenshot button of your uh, uh, laptop and save this screen as such. Or otherwise, I told you the other method, you can save the protein, the plot into data form as I demonstrated in previous diagram. In the same way, you can do some more analysis like you can go to display, sorry, graphics representation. 
and selection you can if you want to see the solvent or serine residue you can simply rename that and create a new item and show its RMSP value in extension you have some more options like you can see you can uh, go to the salt bridges if you are interested in to doing the salt bridge here is the molecule which we are going to use and these are the file find salt bridges it will take some time it's searching for ion pH with the oxygen nitrogen distance within the armstrong 3.2 armstrong and it's done these results can be viewed in this black window that these are the salt bridges it is it finds for you minimize it and close it like in extension there is another option which is uh, known as the Ramachandran plot you can click on it it will show you the Ramachandran plot in the same way in the extension analysis you can have some more options like you can find out the MD energy MD plot like hydrogen bond if you go to the hydrogen bond select the molecule type here the protein and find hydrogen bonds it will find all the hydrogen bond present in your molecule this has generated a graph which represents the hydrogen ion and hydrogen bonds and frames there are a lot other modes you can perform using this extension analysis uh, you can see there are some uh, several different options prop ka heat mapper contact map and so on you can explore it the last thing I want to explain here is it if you want to save these trajectories in different coordinates you just need to click on this molecule go to file and save coordinates here in the coordinates you can save as PDB or many other forms like CRD format like DCD format DTR format GROW format MOL2 format MAE format or so on you just need to click on that your required configuration and click on the save coordinate and your coordinate will be saved in the coming tutorial we will discuss about the PC analysis in Gromex we will discuss SA SA analysis and MBPSA analysis and so on if you have not subscribed our channel yet please like and subscribe if you have any question please write in the comment section this is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Allah Hafiz.